These sand dunes near Studland are part of one of the most extensive dune systems in the UK. Like all dunes, Studland's formed here because there's a large flat beach with lots of sand and a big tidal range. That means there's enough time for the sand to dry out between tides so it can get blown on shore by the prevailing wind. Take a closer look at the dunes on a windy day and you'll begin to get an idea of how they form and the three ways sand gets moved by the wind. It might be hard to see but some grains get picked up and carried in the wind, a process called suspension. Most grains get bounced along as they're lifted and dropped by gusts of wind. This is called saltation. And the bigger grains roll and collide with each other on the ground. This is called creep. The movement of sand produces dunes that have a triangular cross-section. With a long gentle slope on the windward side facing the sea, and a shorter, steeper slip slope on the leeward side. Particles are transported up the windward side, reach the crest and then slide down the slip slope. 